Hello everyone, welcome to Open Education channel and I am Siddharth Sangar Mishra. This is the first video in the Java tutorial for beginner series. Java is one of the popular widely used programming language nowadays. Java is a high level language just like other high level languages like C Sharp, C++, Python. Java is used for object oriented programming. If you don't know about object oriented programming, it's okay. We will cover it in the further tutorials of this series. Java is a portable language. So it can be run on many different platforms like Windows, Mac, Linux, Unix, where Java is installed. In this way, you can develop Java program on one platform and can run it on different platform. Java has a slogan that write once, run anywhere, W-O-R-A, which means that compiled Java code can run on all platforms that supports Java without the need of recompilation. Java applications are typically compiled to bytecode that can run on any Java virtual machine that is JVM regardless of computer architecture. JVM is installed when you install Java on any system. So the Java compilation process is that program written in Java is compiled to bytecode. And then these bytecodes are distributed to different machines. This distributed bytecode is run by the JVM inside that machine. So in this way, Java code are not run by the native operating system, but it is run by the JVM installed inside that system. So now we need to install Java on our system for developing Java applications. You can check if Java is installed or not on your system by simply typing command Java dash version on command line. So let's download and install Java on our system. For that, open your web browser and search for download Java on Google. Just click the Java link from oracle.com. This is the Java SE download page. SE stands for Standard Edition. Here you can see there are two options. First is Java Platform JDK 8 Update 101 or 102. Java 8 is the latest version available at this time. JDK stands for Java Development Kit. This will provide only the JDK. Second option is NetBeans with JDK 8. NetBeans is ID you can use for your development. ID makes your development really easier uh, because it gives you many functionality uh, to make your development life really very easier. So this will provide Java with NetBeans with Java 8. Down here at this page there are other Java updates available. Here is the update for the earlier versions of Java like Java 7 and Java 6. And here are some additional resources like Java documentation and other tools. So let's go ahead and download Java. So click on this button to download Java and it will bring you to this page. Here you need to click on this accept license agreement option and you can choose Java download according to your system and architecture. My system is Windows 64 bit. So I will click on this last option. But I have already downloaded the Java. So let's go for the installation. This is the downloaded Java installer JDK 8 update 101. Run it by double clicking on it and installer will start. This is the installer welcome screen. Just click on the next button. Now it will ask for Java features to be installed and installation path for your JDK. You can change this if you want but for now we will go with the defaults. So let's click on next and installer will start installing Java. The installation is really very easy and you can see the status of the installation. It will show what operation is performed and it will show the various uh, messages during the installation. So this might take some time. Now this is asking for installation path for GRE that is Java runtime environment. Just go ahead with the defaults and click on next and wait for installation to complete. I'm going to pause the recording for saving your time. So now installation is completed. 
you can click the next button if you want to access tutorials api documentation release notes developer guides etc here our java installation is completed so let's close this now for verifying that java is installed on the system let's open this command line and here type the command java dash version hit enter and here you can see this message about install java version that is 1.8.0 underscore 101 which is java update 101 so we have successfully installed the java on our system and in the next tutorial we will see the basics of java and we will create the hello world program in java so see you in the next tutorial thank you